Praise God, everyone. I pray that you are all doing well. This word is for a specific group of people. Um, it's for those who have been in a prolonged um, season of preparation for marriage, um, anywhere from one year on up. If the Lord has just started speaking to you about getting married or just started you off in your process of healing or whatever he's doing in you to prepare, then most likely this word is not for you. So for those of you who it is for, um, the Lord wants you to know that you will be revealed to your spouse suddenly and it will happen in one night. He took me to the book of Ruth where he showed me that after a lengthy season of preparation and harvest, right, working in the fields, Ruth was then prompted by Naomi, who we know in the book of Ruth represents the Holy Spirit to go lay at Boaz's feet. Well, it was in that one night that he realized Oh my goodness, yes. Well, yes, this I, I'm going to take you as my wife. And he set off that next morning to put things in motion, right? To prepare. And, and Naomi tells Ruth, um, don't be dismayed. He will not rest until he settles the matter today. So he, he got up and he sprung forth to go settle the matter. Um, I'm going to be transparent with you. I don't really like to come on here and post words that have anything to do with marriage. They're just not, it's not what I like to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> that I, I, I'm being transparent with you. So when the Lord first told me this, you know, I, I prayed over it and I said, okay, you know, and then he came back the very following day and said, same thing with Esther. It happened in one night. So Esther had gone through a season of preparation and beauty treatments that was prolonged as well. And when her one night came to go into the king, he didn't need a second meeting with her. He didn't need to be convinced. It was in that one night he decided, okay, after spending this time with you, I'm going to make you queen. And so the Lord is showing a theme here that once you've gone through the appropriate seasons of preparation, right? In an instant, what you've been preparing for can be released to you. So there's two important things that we learn. Number one, it's it's the Lord that's going to open the eyes of the other person. Because I know many of you know who your spouse is, but they don't know you or they don't know that you are their spouse. So it's the Lord's job to open their eyes at the appropriate time. And it's your job to complete your season of preparation so that their eyes can be opened. Okay, receive that. Um, That's going to help you keep at this process that's going to help you um continue doing the things that the lord has called you to do in this season he does not want you to get discouraged and stop he doesn't want you to feel like it's happening for everyone else around you but it's not happening for you he wants you to continue on in your season of preparation and know that he's going to open the eyes of the other person instantly and when he opens them right? Their hearts will already be for you. They will already know, okay, this is not a regular dating situation. I'm not just going to, you know, take this person to the movies. I'm not just going to go with the, to the movies with this person. This isn't casual. He's going to, they're going to understand the assignment. He's going to open their eyes and give them the assignment. And that assignment is going to be to become your spouse. All right. Um, I also want to point out that in both cases, these men knew of and about these women. All right. Boaz knew of Ruth. Her reputation preceded her. Right. He knew her. He knew of her. But he didn't know that he was going to be called to marry her until the Lord revealed it to him in that instant when she came to him. Okay. Same thing with King Xerxes. He knew there were women who were living um, living in his palace. He knew that there were women that were being prepared and they were siphoning in and they were coming in one by one to spend the night with him. So he was aware of the process. And I'm sure there were plenty of times that, you know, he may have gone and looked over a balcony or gone and looked out at the women and seen Esther. And probably just not realized, you know, didn't go up and shake her hand or anything, but he definitely knew she was there. So they were already positioned where they needed to be and they were doing what they were called to do. And that's very important. For those of you who are waiting on your marriages to come to pass, it's very important that you are where you're supposed to be and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. The Lord wants to stress that because some of you aren't 
Some of you have given up, you've gotten tired, you've gotten weary, and you've, you've taken yourself out of position in order to be able to receive what he wants to give you. And it's not too late. He's just simply saying, please get yourself back there because that's your rightful place that you're supposed to be positioned. And if you don't complete the preparation, he can't send you in to meet with the king because you can't go in in your current condition. You've got to go through the process that he takes you through before you get sent in. So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that this word blesses you for all of those, for all of you who are waiting to be married. Don't give up and enjoy the time that you have now with the Lord. I can't stress this enough. Once you get married, it's different. All right. It's different because you don't have that just unlimited time to just, you know, soak in the presence of the Lord. Responsibilities come with that. Children come with that. Okay. So use the time that you have now wisely to just spend time with the Lord. Get as close to him as you could possibly get. Sharpen your hearing of his voice. If you're struggling to hear his voice, now is the time to really press in so that you can hear him. Okay. Pray that this blesses you. Oh, if you guys like my shirt, it is um, one of the shirts that I posted on my community tab the other day. Um, one of our dear sisters in Christ that is actually subscribed to this channel makes these shirts. So if you're looking for Christian clothing, um, please go to the community tab or go to the description box um, on this video. And I'm going to put in information on how to get in contact with her. Um, she'll customize the shirts for you so you can switch up the colors and things like that. They're very comfortable and very soft. And one thing that I can appreciate is they do not wrinkle easily uh, because I'm always moving around all over the place, you know, packing a bag to go here, there and everywhere. And I love this thing because I can just literally take it out, shake it and put it on my back and I'm looking fine. So <laughs> with that said, I will speak to you all soon. I love you all with the love of Christ. Bye bye.